gather stars out of the blue for you for you I'll make a string of pearls out of the dew for you for you all over the highway and over the street our best of clover I lay at your feet oh there's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you for you Last time I appeared before you on the screen, I told you the story of Danny Kaye's phenomenal rise to screen prominence. Now it becomes my privilege to tell you of perhaps the greatest and most beloved of all screen stars, Bing Crosby. Unlike Danny Kaye, whose meteoric leap to fame occurred in his first film, Bing Crosby did it the hard way. The old groaner, as he's affectionately called by his pal, Bob Hope, kicked around in show business for many years and toured with Paul Whiteman's band as a singer long before coming to Hollywood. Bing's first break came when he was signed to do a series of slapstick comedies by that famous discoverer of screen stars, Mr. Max Sennett. Of course, back in those days, nearly all of us got our start on the Max Sennett lot so it was quite natural for Senate to make fun of Bing's early desire to get to Hollywood. Here's the way Max Senate pictured Bing Crosby's trek across the country in search of fame and fortune and Hollywood stardom. Hey, officer. How far is it to California? California, I'm there? Let's see. No, the state of California. Yeah, out there by the Pacific Ocean, near Hollywood, you know. Well, you go down here four blocks, four then blocks. turn to the left three blocks, oh, and then go straight ahead. Thank you. <laughs> what if I get off the main highway? Well, you get back on it again. Oh, that's simple. Well, we'll send you a box of orange. Start a boy! <laughs> Back in Hoboken for the summer? No, we're still on our way to California. Oh, what? Yes, yeah, we almost got there, but we had to make a little detour. Didn't you take highway number three? Hey, we took every highway up to 303. Well, what can I do for you now? You can tell us how to get to California. Well, you go down here four blocks. Turn to the left, three blocks. And go straight ahead. Right. How can we get off the main highway? Very simple. You get right back on it. Oh, do we have to go through all that again? Well, the first time was just a rehearsal. Don't forget my orange. Oh, if we make it this time, you get two boxes of orange. <laughs> Even back in those early days, Bing's voice was his greatest asset. In fact, there are many who claim that Bing sang better then than he does today. One thing is certain, he made a hit with the girls no matter where he went. According to Max Sennett, Bing left Hoboken in June, and months later we find him singing his way into the hearts of the Arizona Indian maidens. <laughs> Big 
Why, sure, yeah. That's some machine. When skies are cloudy and gray, they're only gray for a day. So wrap your troubles in dreams, and you can dream your troubles away. Until that sunshine peeps through, there's only one thing to do. Wrap your troubles in dreams. Dream your troubles away. Castles may tumble. That's fate after all. Life's really funny that way. No use to grumble. Smile as they fall. Weren't you king? Wrap your troubles in dreams, and you can dream your troubles away. When your eyes are cloudy and gray, they're only gray for a day. Away. Castles may tumble, that's fate after all. Life's really funny that way. Ain't no use sitting round. <laughs> Weren't you king for a day? Just remember the sunshine. Always follow the rain. Wrap your troubles in dreams, and you can dream your troubles away. Well, come, come, Kitty, so to bed. No! Oh. Husky, we wee. Long before the days of Frank Sinatra, men were jealous of the way their women folk raved about crooner Bing Crosby's soothing voice. And Bing will never forget the send-off the Indian chiefs gave him after he had conquered the hearts of their squaws with his singing. Mm -hmm. Well, this is nice. If you boys don't mind, I think I'll be dangling along. Out! Out! No, no, no! Out! Oh! Oh, no, no! Oh. Come on, Bing! Hurry up! Hey, look at it! Love and kisses from Honky Dog. Are you hurt? No, no, I wish she'd have kept him there. Whoa! Oh, Bing, how are you doing? I haven't had any since St. Louis. Oh, hold that thing away. Stop oh, it up there. Oh, oh horse feathers. Boy, I could never stand two of those. Look out, Big! <laughs> hey, take it easy around these curves, will ya? What fun, said little Rollo. Surveying the debris? Oh, you scatterbrain, you! Maybe it's too deep. Come on, looky here, it's only about six inches deep. Just a little casual water. All right, go ahead. There you go. It hasn't been for you. Hey! That's my cue. Go start a rain. See another aspiring young screen star. Bing's first job in Hollywood wasn't even remotely connected with picture making. And there was a housing shortage back in those days, too. So Bing had to build his own home. Plan to take my sugar to tea. All the boys are terrible to me. I never take away the gang, go. take my sugar to tea. I'm a rowdy down to dance me. She's my hat, take that she. I never take away the gang, go. Every Sunday afternoon, 
I forget about my girl. Loving I won't touch the rich with those millionaires. When I take my sugar to the tea, all the boys are jealous of me. your horse. Special delivery. What? Professor? It's Monday morn. You're feeling blue. Great big wash awaiting you. I'll put a magic in your home. A magic in your home? And you'll surrender, dear. Ten days trial will give you free. The difference then, you're bound to see. Without it, life can't be the same. A life can't be the same. You surrender, dear. By those long days spent at the wash tub, week after week it's the same. Rubbing your nails to the bone. Ah, oh, but I don't care who's to blame. You're not to blame. Right oh. Ten days trial. We'll give you free the difference then. You're bound to see. Oh, I'll huh? send a magic COD. A magic COD. Right oh, you'll surrender. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty good, aren't we? Not bad, not bad. Ladies, when you see the magic in operation, you not only will applaud, you'll cheer. You said it. Right. Now we'll give you a little demonstration of what occurs around here. Ordinarily it would be, but we didn't name this the magic because we can pull rabbits out of it. I'll say we did. We'll give you another little demonstration. Well, we're going to dish a little dirt for you, Pete. Oh. What are you going to say about this? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something. This sweater is ruined. Well, you just take it off and we'll fix that for you in a minute. I don't want to have you dissatisfied and disappointed around here because you look like a nice old guy. Take it right off. Then how ducky this is, Danny. Fascinating, eh, ladies? What a gala array. Fix it! Why, we'll have your sweater as good as new before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. Thank you, my friend. Hello, honey. Mr. Foxy. Hi, you, sir. Oh, pardon me, that's my hair. Where's Betty? I've got a surprise for you. Going with her mother. Oh, right. Her mother told me not to tell you until after 6.15. After 6.15? That's the kind of pain we need for Hollywood. Hollywood? Didn't she leave any message for me? Yes, sir, but her mother told us. I said, you too. Well, that's the answer to the last of the next. But mother saw it off. See, it's a shame mother's taking you away right now. Only three more months and our house will be finished. Yes, and in three more months I'll be 18. Then we can be married whether mother likes it or not. Hey, you better come back or I'm coming out and get you. Oh, maybe we could be married when there's California missing. Oh. Bing's remarkable singing voice quickly won him many friends in Hollywood. 
But the credit must go to Max Sennett for giving him his first break. It seems that Bing had won the heart of one of Max Sennett's gorgeous girls. Of course, the girl's mother didn't exactly approve, but then mothers never do think any man is good enough for their daughter. And so here's how Bing broke into the movies in Hollywood. Director von Schnossel, stage three. Yes, sir. Lively. Hey, you're late, stupid. Oh, me? Yes, right through that door. Stage three. Yeah, yeah hurry up. Well, Say, what's the idea? You're late. Oh, well, boy, I'm, I'm lucky to be here, though. Well, take this fan and stand by for your entrance queue. No. Now, this is the big love scene. Give. What? Everything you've got. My little lotus flower, if Allah wills it, tonight I'll make you queen of my harem. Boy, ain't that hard acting? They're not acting. Not from the look in his eye. Boy, they gonna need that fan. Yes, and he'll probably get it, too. That's all right. Now we try it with the slaves. Come on, boys. That's it. You know, Betty, if you were a smart girl, you'd forget all about that uh, small-town plumber. Maybe I don't want to be a smart girl. Well, before I'm through with you, you'll forget all about him. Hey, you. Fan holder, the order with that fan. Y'all the boss? Y'all. Quiet. Be rehearsed with the music. Oh, Alla Ben Alla, the realization of my love came to me like the sun bursting through the Persian cloud. My little lotus flower, if Alla so wills it, tonight I will make you queen of my harem. Beside a shady nook. A moment's bliss we took to talk of love Beneath the stars above I held your hand And then I whispered, dear, I love you, I love you Or was it just a dream, an idle scheme of mine To fool my heart, and yet it seemed divine It must be true, Ow! I was with you and you are mine, oh who hit me with that tomato? Cut out this horse's play. Tomatoes. What do you think this is? A too real comedy? Now I rehearse the last part of that scene over again. Will you with the fan sing again? 
Beside a shady nook A moment's bliss we took to talk Of love Beneath the stars above I held your hand And then I whispered, dear, I love you, I love you. Or was it just a dream, an idle scheme of mine to fool my heart? No! <coughs> Betty, it's me. Bing! Come, come. Hey, you can't fit now. No. Honey, you go get your coat, and I'll meet you out in the car. All right. Hurry now. Won't be a minute. All right. You plumber, you! Open that door! I will not. I'm safe here. Nice kitty. Through the years, Bing has won his way into the hearts of the biggest audience in the world. His crowning achievement, the winning of the Academy Award, was cheered by everyone. And he's respected and loved for his great contributions to hospitals, servicemen, and numerous welfare organizations. This gifted performer is still the greatest box office draw in the motion picture business. Bing showed that he had the makings of a great star in these first pictures. His gifted singing voice, his natural flair for comedy, 
His magnetic personality endeared him to all who saw or heard him, as indicated in these scenes. Here you see a magnificent star in the making, a truly great and worthy candidate for the Motion Picture Hall of Fame. Just one more chance to prove it you alone I care for. Each night I say a little prayer for just one more chance. Just one more night to taste those kisses that enchant me. I'd want no others if you'd grant me just one more chance. I've learned the meaning of repentance. Now you're the jury at my trial. I know that I should serve my sentence. Still, I'm hoping all the while you'll give me just one more word. I said that I was glad to start out, but now I'm back to cry my heart out for just one more chance. Just one more chance to prove it. Well, I guess I'll be leaving for New York tomorrow. You can drop me at your call. Tonight I say a little prayer more. Just one more chance. Just one more night. I taste the kisses that enchant me. I'd want no others if you'd grant me. Just one more chance. What can I order for you, sir? Two tickets to Niagara. What? Said two tickets to Niagara. Yes, sir. I 
I can bear. Without you, I can't make my way. I surrender, dear. Will you please shut off that noise? Noise? Mother, that's being nonsense. I don't understand how you could be so interested in a radio singer that you've never even seen. I, for one, don't like it. Thousands of girls can't all be wrong. Thousands of girls don't have a chance to marry a mock. They all have a smart mother. Not impossible. No, I'm not, mother. Must have been part of the game. What are you doing? Changing the tune. But I don't care. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you must have your jokes. <laughs> jokes? <laughs> it was mother's twins. Anyway, I was lying here thinking. And I know what you were thinking. Home. That you were asleep. <laughs> sleep, 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 thinking. Oh, there's a bee. More jokes. <laughs> Look, don't strike at him. I sting him. Don't. Ouch. <laughs> Did the bee sting you when he lit? Not when he lit, but when he sits down. Ooh. Ooh. Look at it palpitate. That comes my sister's train now, Jerry. Hey, hey, come on with the 20. Oh, yeah, well, you got me here in time. Sure, 30 seconds to spare. Hope she recognizes me. I haven't seen her in years. Hello, boy. Good Thank luck. You, Hang on, there. We'll need it tomorrow. Oh, listen, officer, this is not my car. It's going to be your ticket. Now, Captain, I'm a very, very close friend of the police commissioner. Now, this is why I like to give you guys tickets. He'll know I'm on the job. Oh, yeah. yeah he'll know that then. That one, that one, and be careful of that one. Hello, sis. How are you? I beg your pardon? Oh, well, I beg yours. I, I thought you were my sister. Oh, really? Yes, you see, you're just her size, and, and you're just as beautiful. Your sister? Yes, I have. A, I got a wire from her, said she'd be in on the limited Tuesday. But this is Monday. Oh, Monday. Well, well, you see, I work nights, and sometimes I get a little mixed up on my days. And your sister? No, really, I have the wire from her right here in my pocket. I'll show it to you. Hey, your brother? He thought he was. He thought he was? Well, I'm glad I'm not. What? what? Your music teacher? A measure. No, lady, I'm only waiting for my sister. Oh, bosh. But I found my idea. <laughs> Marquis. Could I help you, Joe? Uh, please, please. Oh, That's outrageous, me. and I believe you're encouraging him. Say, I only wish she was. It is impudence. This lady is my fiance. Oh, well, you can get out of that. <gasps> Ouch. Hey, wait a minute. It's preposterous. What's this, a sword? Certainly, I have been insulted. Marquis! I will teach him a lesson. Oh! I'm gone. Kelly Ho, look out behind you. <laughs> now you have insulted my honor. Well, you put that sticker down and I'll knock you on it. Porco de vaco. 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 Imagine the barkeep fighting a duel over you. Is that what he's doing? I'm guy. I'm two up. Now I am mad. Not really. Ah, well, come, come. Isn't this thrilling? I will not do it. I tell you, drop it. Never. I am hot. I am very not from thee. Well, then cool off from thee. Hello, officer. How's everything? You'll pardon me, I'll be gone. Amstray! Hi ho! Well, here we are. Three hours shot. Can I help it if we had to stop at a police station? Well, if we hadn't been pinched, we could have followed her car. Oh. Here she is now. Oh, it's a dog we're following. No, Jerry. <laughs> it's her dog. Follow no. me. Hello, boy. Hello there. Come on. Hello. You! Me han ofendido el honor de la familia. Me han ofendido el honor de los antepasados. Oh, van a jugar. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. He loves water. <laughs> Here comes Bing. 
Pardon me, aren't you Mr. Crosby? Why, yes, miss, but uh, you're not the girl. There she is now, Jerry. Oh, good. You know, I'm a bit of a crooner myself. We're not I... interested. I'll say we're not. <clears throat> you wouldn't be. <laughs> Have you got romance? Girlie, I've got loads of it for you. Oh, I beg your pardon. You look just like someone I know. Who right? is this fellow? I don't know. This lady's my wife. <clears throat> well, good night. <laughs> I what? thought she was a friend of mine. Well, I've never even seen him before. Just a masher, huh? Oh, oh no, really, sir. I've never made that mistake before. What difference does that make? Chauncey, uh, control yourself. Chauncey? Uh, no, not Chauncey Alcott, the sweet singer of those beautiful Irish ballads. Sure, a little bit of heaven fell from out the sky one day. <laughs> not he by any chance. Just the lady's husband. Oh, well, but you look like a genial, broad-minded man of the world, a man who might make a mistake once or twice. I make no mistake. Well, of course, I didn't have any reference to the young lady choosing you for her handsome protector. Now, that's what I like to see, the husband defend the wife and, and the home and, and the little sprouts. Of course, I, I'm no masher. Who oh, oh, perish the thought? If I were a masher, I'd be a little frightened, and you can see I'm not frightened, not much. I'm glad to meet you. It's a pleasure. Chauncey, don't break his hand. Oh, boy, she's beautiful. And father. Oh, I must meet father. This is a place. Ixnay, Ixnay, the Henri aim day, Jerry. You're telling me. Well, let's get out of here. Quick, while we're all in one piece. Release that man, and we'll get... Could we have your autograph? Please do. Not interested. Uh, 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 a little later, maybe, but not now. Who's father? Father? What a pain. When they broke my hand. So. Oh, the leaping tuna. No. Flying seal. Maybe. I have been insulted for the last time. No, no. Hold. My cat. What is this? What is this? Tanglefoot, you love it. Stick around, Marky. Amstray. Hi ho. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Crosby, your autograph, please. Well, uh, if you pardon me, I'm I'm busy as a bird dog right now. Well, Buzz me on the morrow, Joe. Don't forget, because I'll be waiting. Buzz me. Have you got any idea where to find this? No, place? but love will find them. All right, then what are we doing back on this wall? This is where that swordfish went. All right, lead on. Oh, I follow. I come. <laughs> oh. Lady, would you be interested in the trip through the California orange groves, taking in the alligator farms, seeing the motion picture actors at play? Would you be interested? A blank, Jerry, a blank -a room. I told you no, up in room 614. Oh, that was you. We do get around, don't we? All right, silent. Oh, let's give this up. You want to find her, don't you? Yeah, but this is as bad as keyhole people. Oh, we'll be doing that next. Not come. Me. I don't see some any keyhole. Yes, you will. Oh, lady. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. What is it? How would you be interested in the trip through the California orange groves? Stopping at the alligator farm. How do I look, Father? Oh, huh? you look swell. See okay. the motion picture stars at play? Very illuminating. Would you be in? I don't think she would, no. No, maybe you're right. This is the end. Oh, it's Father. I know, Racket. No, no, this is our regular business. Yes, we yeah. just thought that, that you good, kindly folk would be interested in a nice tour through the California orange groves. Just a thought. See the movie stars uh, rasping around with the alligators? Really dusty. Quiet, uh -huh. quiet. Yes. What is this trip? Why, well, it's called uh, the McCollum Auto Tour. You yes. know the caps and, and all. This is Mr. McCollum himself, his own dear self. But uh, you wouldn't be interested, so if you'll pardon our uh, obtrusiveness, we'll be running along. Come I down. would be interested. I'm Mr. McCollum. Not Chauncey McCollum, the great big auto tour man. Well, this is nice, pardon me. Uh -huh. Not this semester, no. Hey. Now, just a minute, what are you McCullum, trying to do not be are you trying to make me, me just so? a minute. We <laughs> just came in here for something while we were here. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm, well, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm... Well, we ran across an unreasonable husband. What kind of a hotel is this? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. You're, you're you so can't good. flirt with my wife. Ah, 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 now contain yourself. Contain yourself. Oh. Now, just a minute. Fun's fun. But you can't punch my pal twice in the nose. I did it, didn't I? Well, you can't do it anymore. And you can't flirt with my wife. I wasn't flirting with your wife. I'm tough. You can't be as tough as you look. I'm tough. Oh, was that so? Thank you. <laughs> well, well, we meet again, and uh, again a bit ingloriously. I'll have to apologize for Pollyanna. I guess he missed his poise this morning. Well, what's doing, Joe? 
But really, Mildred, or Mabel, or Martha, whatever your name is, I can explain everything. Sir! Well, Mother, this is nice. Fancy Isn't seeing it? you again. Are you enjoying your stay here? And how do you find the orange grove? And the alligators. Mother, you must come with me to see the alligators. Oh, have oh. we got alligators? Have we got... Ask me if we got alligators. Have we got alligators? Little bitsy witsy one. Great big lot. Long, 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 what a hubbub. Amscray? Hi ho. Come on. I'll be right back, dear. Oh, please don't uh, misunderstand. How could we? Well, won't you let me tell you how it happened? We're not a bit interested. Well, you see, it was only because I was uh, following beautiful. I didn't even know that woman out there. You don't even know us. You're just a masher. Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all, really. I'm not. Who are you? Well, you see, my name is Crosby. Oh, I suppose you're going to tell us you're Bing Crosby. Well, yes, yes. That's me, Bing Crosby. You will now hear Bing Crosby sing, out of nowhere. Have you any more jokes? Well, that's no joke, really. Mr. Crosby would be very much flattered that he knew of your impersonation. Oh, tut, 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 tut. No impersonation. That's really one of my records. I'll bet you have a record, but it wouldn't stand broadcasting. Well, have it your way. You came to me from out of nowhere. You took my heart and found it free. Wonderful dreams, wonderful schemes from nowhere. Made every hour sweet as a flower to me. And if you should go back to your nowhere, leaving me with my memory, I'll always wait for your return. Out of nowhere, hoping you'll bring your love to me. Now that you've finished your act, run along and sell your bus trips. Say, you don't believe anything, do you? I don't believe you're Bing Crosby. Well, I am. Oh, yes? I've been in more battles and fights, had more narrow escapes from the very jaws of death, trying to meet you. Well, I'm happy to have met and up with you. Love will find a way. My sense of direction is a little askew. See you minute. Now you see the kind of a man he is. Stop your nonsense and put your mind on your fiance, the Marquis. You have just heard Bing Crosby sing Out of Nowhere, a phonograph record. Sorry, I thought you were Bing Crosby. No, but I'm a great friend of his. Oh. Oh, won't you come in? Yes. Yeah, he acts like you feel after you've been chasing your husband all night. Yes, but I have many a time. No. But no more. He's no. had his last blonde. You, you can't go now. Why not? Th that's for wife. Well, I can explain my presence here. Oh, but I couldn't. I never can. This is ridiculous. I know, but it's better than funerals. Hello, Bing. hello, George. What's hello, the... George. Hello, George. How are you? <laughs> hello, Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been home? Oh, about an hour. Uh-huh. Who have you got hidden in the room? Oh, lay off, Jerry. Lay oh, off. No, wait a minute. You know George as well as I do. George he is all right. He's all right. He's in the telephone or any old place, but... <laughs> what is that hair doing on your coat? Eh, you see? <laughs> a guilty conscience. I'm afraid. Oh, boy, I... when he gets in the sack of woman trouble, it's just something <laughs> terrible. You got one hidden under here, George? No. The closet. Ah, all the book in the closet. Well, are you satisfied? Oh, completely. Why don't you stop, Jerry? Please. He knows I'm better than to have a woman in this house. Oh, I can well understand that. Oh, come on. Come, well, come, come. Oh, 
mistakes all afternoon. And I'm sorry for them, too. To you, my love, my life, my all. I surrender, dear. Give me room 344, please. Telephone, sir. Don't you see I am busy? It's your sweetheart. Which one? Your fiancé. Oh. Hello, sweetheart. Marquis, I'm sorry, but our engagement's off. What? You, you are joking. I, I think I'd like to marry Bing Crosby. Not if I can help it. Well, you can't help it. Yes, and we're leaving for the ministers right now. You Come said. and say something nice to the Marquis. Congratulations. Oh, well, listen, Jerry, sweet. right out here. Come no, on. no, not that way. The Marquis is sore. Your mother, a police policeman. Where? The fire escape. Okay, Amstrad. Hi ho. Here we go. Porque yo no voy a pasar a usted. Oh. Excuse me, I forgot my fur. <laughs> Insect. Where's my daughter? Ah, oh, here she is. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the fire? Why, we're looking for a minister. What's your name? Bing Crosby. Yeah? Yes. If you let us go, I'll be Mrs. Crosby in a few minutes. That's right. You're Bing Crosby, huh? Yes, sir. Sound your aid. I may seem proud. I may act gay. You have witnessed in these early Mac Senate pictures how Bing set a new style and brought a fresh technique to the screen. Crosby has gone on to become the most universally known and loved artist in the entire world. His recordings have been heard in every nook and corner of the globe. No other singer has attained the tremendous popularity accorded Bing's transcribed songs. The universal appeal and soothing quality of his voice has hurdled the barriers of language and international custom. And his name is a byword, synonymous with the very top in singing entertainment everywhere. He has but to sing a new song once, to skyrocket the number into the hit class, and his endorsement sets the stage for leading bands to play the tune into a million copy sale. The miracle of radio has also served to carry Bing Crosby's voice to millions each week. And while he was the first of his type to successfully invade the wireless, Bing still maintains his airwave supremacy, regardless of time and competition. The vast motion picture audiences of every land are familiar with Bing's happy domestic life. They know his beautiful wife and children intimately, 
because every phase of Crosby's home and model family are held as a shining example in the fan magazines in every country and in every language. Bing Crosby's great contributions in time and money to numerous charities, hospitals, and religious organizations are little known to the general public, indicating the high caliber of his ideals and his truly great moral character in not permitting himself any personal publicity or profit as a result of these generous and worthy donations. And his name will ever be held in lofty esteem by millions of young men and women in the armed forces, in far-off camps, on the actual battlefields, in military hospitals, to the weary and sick at heart, amid chaos and strife, to the wounded and dying, to both friend and foe alike, the husky-voiced, melodious character they affectionately called Bing, or Der Bingo, will never be forgotten because he and his magnificent artistry helped them to forget momentarily their pain and fatigue, their loneliness and helplessness. And these men and women know and will ever be grateful for the hardships and privations he so willingly endured so that he might be with them, giving his great talent and encouragement willingly and freely to those millions who have come to love and respect him. We in the motion picture business well know the tremendous value that Bing Crosby has brought to the screen, the high caliber of the films he has produced, and the worthy example he has set in the characters he portrays in his countless acting roles. Therefore, the producers of this picture respectfully submit and humbly nominate as the first to be engraved in the annals of the Motion Picture Hall of Fame the name of Bing Crosby.